Previously on Tales of Berseria, we defeated the sixth and final boss of the Heavenly Steps. Zuifu revealed that the demon and dragon transformations are actually caused by a curse from the spiteful seraphim of the Heavenly Realm, and there's really nothing we can do about it. On the bright side, we got a Hot Springs event where everyone switches bodies. Oh, whoa, and misfortune, meow. The harbinger of the end has come to Norman Island, meow. The harbinger of the end? What are you talking about? The harbinger of the end is said to deliver judgment upon the world, meow. If he judges us bad, he will destroy us all. If he judges us good, he'll grant a single wish, meow. That's rather binary. Sounds like a man of extremes. Not just extreme, but all-powerful, meow. Whatever you do, you'd better stay away from Norman Island. Ugh, okay, just stop. Stop telling us not to do things! The Harbinger of the End is on Norman Island. Stay away from there, wherever you do. I mean it. Oh, it's Jude and Mila. What are you two doing here? Is there any chance the two of you are the Harbinger of the End? No, we're not. But the Harbinger has entrusted us with his battle. The Battle of Judgment. The Battle of Judgment? You're not saying that if we lose to you, our world will be destroyed, are you? That's exactly what we're saying. This Harbinger of the End, did he promise to send you back to your world if you won? Look, we just have things left to do back in Riza Maxia. I'm sure you do, but... We've got unfinished business here in our world, too. A girl and her pet? You really want to take us on? Not a pet. Magic Kazam! A human! What? I've never seen my little incantation have such an effect before! Such is the power of the Harbinger of the End. Perhaps now you see the gravity of this battle. You'll have to give it everything you've got if you want to beat us. I actually don't know if they have a negative or po positive power link. They had negative power links back in Zestiria, especially against the cameo boss. But here, it's possible that's still a positive power link because Mila is not taking that much damage despite supposedly not having as high defense stat as some of the previous bosses. I'm not too sure how it's implemented. If only we could get them to stand close to each other for a, a Mystic Art chain. But even with Mystic Arts, it's gonna be really tough to deal with them. They can tank pretty much everything I throw at them. Though I did get pretty lucky with stunning Mila a few times. Too bad most of my Varian finishers end up doing one damage. They really should make a dedicated anti Moloch or anti spirit type. Move so that I can actually deal damage to these types of enemies. And of course, they always go for my casters. And I completely missed. That was lame. Okay, managed to get a stun there. I'm going to do a few normal Mystic Arts just for the sake of getting some souls back. I might not be able to maintain my soul output otherwise. You know, looks must look really weird seeing both the enemy and me just ignore each other's stagger and just keep attacking. Somehow I managed to inflict slow on her, even though he didn't specifically set up a combo like that. Maybe it was Aizen. He must have done something with maybe one of his Earth Arts. Kind of funny watching her run away from me while I slowed down. Too bad it wore off. Okay, 
And we both just... And I just... I managed to jump over her overdrive. That was pretty convenient. But I'm still running out of hit points anyways. Seriously, we need a better uh, fairy uh, finisher a default to for unknown type enemies. This is ridiculous. It's just completely sad watching uh, uh, watching Velvet do one damage to them just because of RNG. I am disappointed by that lack of damage from that Mystic Art chain, even though everyone used their dual Mystic Art that did, did barely anything to her. The fact that we can't really hit, uh, hit her species attribute, she's basically immune to being chained. I don't know how I managed to keep the combo here going for so long. It's because I got lucky and stunned her, plus resetting whatever mechanic she uses to break out of combos. I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, I sunned her again. Even though I have a, a I the way I did my build has less focus than before, so you think I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, my build has a bit more offensive stats now, but a little less focus. And now she breaks out, because I didn't manage to keep the stun up. Oh, we didn't get Mystic Art finished, but we showed off some cool moves. I think we're done here. <sighs> Mila! This fight is over. Victory goes to the woman there. I take it you're the harbinger of the end? Correct. I am the one who delivers judgment upon this world. As the victor, I shall grant you one wish. Whatever it be, speak it now. I want you to return these two back to their world. Why? You said you have things to do back home, right? That's why. Are you certain? I can grant you anything your heart desires. Even the chance to turn back time and undo the past. No, I won't run away. Not from my past, and not from the wrongs I've done. That is my decision. Then the judgment has been dealt. I sense no malice in your will. As such, the world shall not meet its demise. Huh? You see, your answer was the true test of judgment. We were charged with drawing out your true innermost wish. Then the Harbinger's a fool. I'm the Lord of Calamity here. And what of it? Not all demons must be evil, and not all heroes must be good. Humans are complex creatures, as capable of love as they are of hatred, and committing sin as often as acts of charity. Goodness and malice are but two halves of one whole, the line between which is ever-shifting. Well then, you're as bad as it gets. You were ready to destroy the world, had the one who answered fallen under the shifting notion of evil. Indeed. But the good within that same single person carries the opportunity to save the world as well. That's a terrible gamble. No, I always believed it would turn out this way. Me too. I trusted you would all do the right thing in the end. <laughs> Jude has good instincts when it comes to humans. That's too bad. 
because I'm not a human. You're not? Well, that still doesn't really change anything. No matter if you're a human, a spirit, or a demon lord. Yeah, that doesn't matter at all. Come. I have kept you two away from your world for far too long. It is finally time for me to return you to where you belong. When the end times come, a talking Pengyon will declare judgment upon the sinful. Goldapen is said to be an ominous creature that signals the end of the world. Oh uh, yeah, I remember all that now. I can't believe that Goldapen was the harbinger of the end. That was a close call. If Velvet had devoured everything like usual, the world would have ended. Hey, I'm not the Reaper here. Anyway, I'm glad Jude and Mila were able to go home. Definitely. Although... I'm not sure I'll be able to eat pinion meat ever again. Indeed. Wouldn't want to accidentally nosh on the harbinger of the end. 200 grade after I master everything. Victory under status ailments. Yeah, I don't care. That was 68 break souls just to be able to win. That was ridiculous. Was their power link making them weaker or stronger? I can't actually tell. At least I gotta show off the remaining dual mystic art. So that's a good enough win for me. Hmm. Some characters actually got all their BG back from all that. Yeah, those stats are kind of ridiculous for a 2 on 4. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Tales of Bersoria. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.